Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to perform batch operation using uh, JDBC statement. So, uh, I have a database JDBC DB which I had used in the previous video as well. And I have a table is called employee underscore table which contains three records. So, I am going to make use of this table to show you how to perform batch updates in a JDBC statement. So here I have created a project with name batch updates using JDBC statement and here I have a utility DB util program which contains a get connection method which returns me a connection when I call from the uh, client program right and here I have used a static block and here I am trying to here this line of code will register the appropriate driver JDBC driver and I am taking connection from the driver manager using get connection method by passing DB URL username and password right so pretty straightforward now here in this code I am going to show you how to perform a batch operation using JDBC statement so let's create a try block <clears throat> try and in catch block I would like to print print a stack trace and I am going to use uh, something which is called uh, try with resources as I had used in the previous video so connection connection equals to we have a db util sorry db util and we have a get connection which returns us the connection object and here i'm going to create a statement yes, jdbc statement and which imports will happen java dot sql now a statement equal to we have a already connection object using this connection we can create a statement right pretty straightforward here we will have to give the same equal so if you have more than one resource which implements auto closable interface so you can declare those resources in try using try with resources so that you don't need to call these resources you don't need to close these resources in finally block explicitly end of the program it will be closed automatically now i have a three sql one for the insertion second for the updation and third for the deletion so all these three sql i want to uh, execute in one shot or one go in the database so that's why we required a jdbc update uh, batch update sorry so here in this statement what i'll do a statement has a method is called add bug, add batch which accepts sql as an argument so this sql i'm going to pass it over here this three sql so here as an example i have passed i'm going to pass three SQL but uh, in real scenario you want you can pass as much as SQL you can add as a batch in this statement by calling the add batch and once you are done with adding this all queries as a batch then finally you need to call a method is called execute batch right and this method is going to return you uh, array of integer and if you print array of integer then this is going to print either 0 or 1 uh, 1 for the successful operations if this statement is this insert uh, happens successful on the database side then this is going to return you 1 on the index 1 first index and uh, update if this updation happens successfully on the database side then this is going to return you 1 and delete this operation successful happens on the database side then one else this will return you zero right so insertion definitely this is going to insert on the database side so we'll get one uh, let's say suppose if i want to update a uh, record on the database size a uh, employee whose id is one and then let me check out so yes uh, we have a record with employee id one so current email address is martin.cs2070 at the rate yahoo.com now i want to update uh, as a email new email address 
martin.cs 2017 so def definitely this is gonna be true now i want to delete the record uh, from the employee table uh, with employee id 20 but this does not exist so this will return you zero so let me run this program and let me show you what we are getting so 110 we are expecting to get and we got the 110 right so for successful operations batch is going to return you one unsuccessful return uh, for that for unsuccessful operation so this is going to return you zero so we want to delete this record but this record does not exist on the database side so that's why uh, zero is getting returned for the third record right so this way you can sign uh, if you use batch update uh, using a statement then you can have a mix query right you can send insert update delete all the stuff you can uh, make a bunch and you can send in uh, as, uh, as a one go right by calling the execute but uh, batch method so this is a very quick video on batch update using jdbc statement i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in video description so if you like this video then please subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial.